Hi guys, it's Christina with Virginia Wreath Company. Um, I'm coming to you today to make a fall grapevine wreath. Um, <clears throat> I'm using a different camera. This is called the Mevo. Um, so please bear with me. I haven't used this for a Facebook Live yet. Um, so I'm not quite um, exactly sure how it's going to go. <laughs> so. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, let me see if I can find this on my other phone so that I can see comments because I know that there have been issues with other people not being able to see comments um, when you use the Mevo because of how the app works. Um, so I'm trying to go back here to see if I can pull it up on this other one so I can see your comments. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Okay, I cannot find it on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, and this necessarily isn't going to be like a tutorial. I'm just going to kind of put the wreath together and you guys can watch. And I'm going to try and do some um, cool things with the Mevo and see how that kind of works out. So I have my grapevine wreath and I am going to be using this sign right here. Um... Let me see. This one right here, I love this sign. Um, the whole trunk thing is like super, super popular. It was really popular last year. Um, and I really think it's going to be popular again this year. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the tag off this. And I did kind of prep for this last night. I did a little bit of the work beforehand. I don't know why that's on this side. It should be on the other side. I'm going to pull it around. No. Okay. So, how I'm going to attach this to my grapevine, I've got pipe cleaners. And I already kind of know where I'm going to put it on my grapevine. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put it up here one more time. <clears throat> it's really, it's a big sign. Um, you guys can see that it's a big sign. Um, I'm just going to kind of put my finger where another one needs to go. And I can take a pencil and mark it. And I know I want to put another one right up above it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. And I've just got a pipe cleaner. And my staple gun. And I'm just putting two staples in here. Put three up there. And then what I do just to make sure that this is secure is I just go over it with some hot glue. And I think I forgot to zoom y'all out. Okay, sorry about that guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot glue over this. Kind of as a another level of added security that it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, got that. So I'm going to set this aside and let that cool off. And this is what I did last night. I made my bet. Um, this is what I'm going to put on my wreath, if you guys can see it. Now this is like really weird, y'all. Okay. You can see what it looks like. Big fluffy bow. Um, I did make this using the Pro Bow. Um, I love using that thing. It's awesome. It's great. Um, I use the Pro Bow and I use the, um, 
the fluff box. I use the fluff box also. But this is really, um, if you have problems making bows, y'all get the Pro Bow. The thing is like awesome. So let me go ahead and zoom y'all back out. But this is the bow that I'm going to be using. And I have some fall Halloween picks, leaves that I'm going to use in here. Um, I pulled out several of these and I got them at AC more last year. Um, here's a fall bush. Again, I'm not sure exactly what all I'm going to use. Um, so I'm just going to place things and stick stuff around and see how it goes. And this one came from Michael's. This one was at Michael's and I got this last year too. Um, I haven't gotten any fall stuff yet this year. And I have like some little wispy, kind of like grassy like things that I might throw in here. Again, I, I don't know. It's whatever whatever comes up basically and I have a couple extra ones I've got some flowers and some longer flowers and I'm just not sure what I'm gonna use so let me see if I can check the comments section let me see if I can pull it up over here because if you guys are commenting I don't want to miss your comments And if I can't find them, um, I will definitely come back after the video and reply. Let's see. Nope, I still don't see them, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, I'll have to figure that out. So, the first thing I am going to do... Is, let's see if this is yeah that's that's dry enough I'm gonna go ahead and attach the sign um, I am gonna take this hanger part off so I'm not gonna use it And if you want to, um, you know, there, there are going to be little holes up here where the hanger goes. If you want to just keep something, part of the wire in there, that's fine. Um, and just bend it to the back of the board so that it doesn't come off. Here's the other one. And that way it doesn't look like there's like... An obvious hole right there. <laughs> okay. You can see what I did. Okay. This is what I did. I just attached or put these little front pieces back in. And then on the back, I just bent the little wire over over it. I'll probably just add like a little touch of hot glue right there, but I think the little metal pieces right there look a lot better than having like a couple of holes. So, let me put just a dab of hot glue on there to secure it. It's a little too long. Go back up. Okay, I need to let that dry for just a couple minutes. Um, what I'm going to do is take some of these price tags off the back of these um, picks. 
So I didn't do that beforehand. But I think these are so cute. You can do so much, you know, different things with these. Um, it gives you a lot of texture, a lot of dimension. And they're all, you know, different looking ones, so I can kind of go with um, any sort of fall decor. I hope you all are having a good day today. Um, I hope it's not too hot where you are. Um, we've had, I think for the month of July, we only had several days that it was not in the 90s, like with a heat, heat index over 100, which is insane to me. I mean, I love flip-flops, but I don't like the 100 degree weather. <laughs> And I apologize that I cannot see any of your comments. I'm going to have to go back and look at them when, when I'm done. But thank you for joining me, and I, I appreciate it. And Let's make a fall wreath. I'm going to cut those off for right now. Check the glue. Yeah. Still a little tacky, but it's okay. And I'm just taking my pipe cleaners and bending them up. And I've already determined, um, looking at my wreath, which way I want to, um, I want the wreath to actually hang. This is a little bit of a thicker side right here. So that's where I'm going to put my sign. And this part can be tricky sometimes. Okay, got that on there. I'm just going to pull it off because I just slightly tightened the pipe cleaners back here, um, just enough to hold it. So I'm just going to go back and untwist what I have and really tighten it on there. And I just stuck the pipe cleaners through the grapevine. some of this. We don't need all that. Okay. Same thing. <clears throat> Let's come over here, untwist what you did. Tighten and twist it back.
And if you're just joining, um, I'm Christina with Virginia Reed. Working correctly. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Apparently, um, it lost connection. Oh, I see the comment. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> it comes up at the very top part of the screen. Lisa, if you can hear me and see me okay, can you, um, can you comment again, please? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I've got the twist ties on, and my sign is on here. And I'm going to go ahead and hang it up here. And I will tell you, this sign is its really heavy. Um, so more than likely, when you go to put your hanger on here, your hanger isn't going to be dead center of your grapevine. You're going to have to have your hanger closer to this side so that it doesn't do this. Um, and I'll show you guys. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my bow. And this is the bow that, that I made last night using the Pro Bow. And I used, I think, six different ribbons? Seven? Six or seven. And it's just wired on the back. So I'm just going to take this, turn my wreath around, and I'm going to put it maybe right here so that way we can have um, pick some flowers coming out this way and some up here. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm just running the floral wire through the grapevine. Here to the back so I can <clears throat> grab the wire. When you get your bow on there, you can just come around and fluff and do what you need to do to get your bow looking right, how you want it to look. I'm going 
to go ahead and add my hanger to the back. I'm using, um, let me see if I can show you. I'm using like this, um, I think it's called rustic wire. It's pretty thick. Um, and it, it does do a good job at, um, working as a hanger because it's so thick it's kind of hard to bend but it does work great as a hanger and my piece is about 12 inches long and I just shape it into a U closer to this side and see how we do. And this great binary has a lot of twiggy pieces. I kind of like that because it kind of gives it that airy feeling. And all I do is stick the rustic wire through the grapevine, um, pull the ends up underneath, and then wrap it back on itself. That's how I do my hanger, just like that. And I just pull it through and then wrap the ends back around the loop. Okay. So now we get to start adding the fun stuff, the picks and the flowers and leaves and all that kind of stuff. And I think with this pick, all I'm going to do is kind of move some of the stuff around just a little bit. And I think I'm just going to leave it on the pick itself. Let me see. And I can go through and place where you want your stems first. And sometimes you do have to kind of step back, take a look to see if you like it. And I think I'm going to trade these two out. I think this one might go on the bottom, and this one might go up here on the top. And right now, I'm just pushing it down into the grapevine itself. You can maneuver your ribbon around. And then I think I'm going to put this one maybe up under here. Now I haven't glued anything in yet, I'm just placing these around. Okay. Let's 
try and pull my bow a little bit tighter because it feels like it's dropping down just a little bit and I don't want it to do that. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but maybe once I put more stuff up in there, it'll kind of push the bottom up just a little bit. Okay. I think I like where these picks are. this around a little bit so you can see the sunflower down there. And I'm going to take off some of these sunflowers. And some of these other flowers. I don't know. I know what these are but I can't think of the name. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about these is they're kind of short. The stems are kind of short. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I'm going to stick them in there and see what see what it looks like. And if you're just joining me, I'm Christina with Virginia Reef Company, and I'm doing a fall um, wreath. I'm just putting it together. Um, I do have a new camera that I'm using, and that is not showing me... A, what happens is only one little comment comes up in a box on the screen. And if I'm not looking at it, I think it disappears. Um, let me see if I can log in again. To see your comments. Okay, we have comments, you guys. Yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Kenna. Cool, sneaking at work. Um, and my easel my husband made for me. Um, my mom is on. Hi, Mom. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Tina. Hey, Ann. Hey, Mary. Hey, Nick. Hey, Lisa. Okay, guys. I got comments. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Um, Jerry, I didn't this morning. I didn't show how to make the bow. Um, I made it last night. Um, I can do a video, um, later on this week showing how to make the bow. Um, I do use a pro bow, um, and there, there are lots of tutorials on the pro bow. And the bow, specifically, is the Terry bow. Um, so that's, that's what I use to make my bows, um, so just let me know, and if you're interested in getting the Pro Bow, um, I'll post a link after after the video. I'll post it in the comments where you can get it. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go around 
and put these flowers in where I think I would like them. And that's why I'm not gluing anything in yet because I want to make sure that it's going to look okay before I place anything in there permanently. Let's see. there and this is like a really simple wreath guys because you're not putting a whole lot in here um the picks are already made and I've cut up maybe a half a bush not even a half a bush of flowers and my sign my ribbon and that's it that's it um it is this is, when you start using the picks, um, it helps tremendously just to kind of fill things in. Um, I think I like that. Too far, now that I know that I like what's been done so far. And, you know, really guys, it's, it's not a lot. Um, and these are the biggest time savers, or your picks. They're going to save you so much time, you know, instead of trying to, like, cut, cut things and, and, you know, take things off the bush and things like that, so... Hey Jerry, are you talking about, um, can I still see the grapevine after putting all this stuff in? Oh, okay, I got your comment. I got you. Thank you. Um, Geraldine, I, um, use pipe cleaners. I staple pipe cleaners on the back of it and then hot glued over it the staples to make sure it's secure and then I attached it to the grapevine. I'll flip it around in a few minutes after I get this stuff glued in. I apologize if y'all can hear the prices right in the background. <laughs> I hadn't turned my TV channel this morning. <laughs> and all I'm doing is maneuvering my bow around my pick. That's all. And honestly, the one thing you're probably going to mess with the most when you do a wreath is the ribbon. The ribbon and the bows. It seems to be like the biggest thing on this planet that you will mess with. The most time consuming. Okay. Okay, so I like that, and then I had this, make sure, yep. I have that right in here, let's move that leaf over just a little bit. the ends of the florals and then I'm just sticking them sticking them in the grapevine let's see 
Hey, Terry. I'm glad to see you guys on here. Um, if you weren't on earlier, I, um, oh, let me leave that just in case. I got a new camera. I got the, the Mevo. Um, so I could do cool things like zoom in and, and whatnot, but, uh, well, that's not cool when your hot glue gun falls in the garbage can. <laughs> okay. Okay. And all I'm doing is like placing the flowers in. Pull this out down here, and pull this out down here, and I'm going to cut some of this end of this pick off, so I don't, I don't need all that. You need to kind of take your picks and move your things around, you know, give them a little bit more dimension. Constantly picking at the ribbon. Okay. Add this one, and I'm leaving the greenery on down here at the bottom just to kind of make it look a little bit fuller. Sunflower down here. Yeah, a little bit of sunflower right down there. Okay, and I think I'm going to add a few more flowers up here. We've got this one little wispy pick right here. And I've got some little pumpkins. I think the whole pumpkin thing goes really cute with the pumpkin patch in the back of a truck. Maybe another sunflower. Right in there with the big leaves to kind of tie it off right there on that end. And then we'll leave some of this grapevine exposed. Okay. 
Okay. And I put one of these up at the top, so let me see what it looks like when I put one of these at the bottom. out just a little bit. I have one at the top, one at the bottom. And I think I might add this one right down here in the corner. Isn't that cute, y'all? Little pumpkin. Okay. Okay. What? I think I'm going to put one more pumpkin up here. Theme down here. I think they'll look good right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to think if I need something else up here on top. Maybe. Let me see. Let me try this. See what this looks like. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Use this or not? I'm gonna stick it in up there. And I think I am gonna use it. So if I put one at the top, I'm gonna put one at the bottom. Kind of adds just a little brightness of orange instead of everything looking so. Um, like a dark orangey kind of color. Hey Megan. Once I put it in here, if I don't want it sticking straight up, I'm just going to kind of bend it um, at the very tip up here where the flower is. Let me see. As I take it right here at the very top and just bend it a little bit if I want it to go in a different direction. Okay. This one is going to go down here on the bottom. Just like that. And then glue it in. And sometimes I do use a pick machine, um, sometimes I don't. Um, this just so happens to be stems that are thick enough that will hold the um, the glue and not bend and break. 
when you put the hot glue on them. Okay. Okay, guys. I think I am about done. I'm going to trim up some of these ribbon tails over here. But what do you think? Do you think I should keep, think I should add a few more things right here? Or should I keep going? Or stop? Add a few more or stop? To right up in here where this area is. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. I'm going to zoom back out. Thank you, Glenda. Um, the sign I got from um, Hobby Lobby. You know what? Y'all know I just can't leave well enough alone. i got to stick another flower in here. <laughs> I think this is what happens when I do... Um, Floral, grapevine, um, Reese says, I just want to keep sticking flowers in there. And I know eventually i got to stop, but it's hard, y'all. <laughs> one more. One more and then I'm done. There we go. Right there. I think that just added the perfect touch. But this is what we have, and I used um, one bush, all but one flower off that bush, two picks, and two of these, um, two flowers off this bush. So it really, I didn't use a whole, whole lot, and I didn't even use my grasses, y'all. I wanted to use these so bad. You know what, maybe I will. See, that's what I mean when, when, you know, you can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> I'm just going to cut one off and see what it looks like. Because I love this stuff. It's so frilly and just... <laughs> Am I sure I'm finishing? No, Lisa, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Let me see. I guess I don't want to stick in here right. Okay, nah. Nah, nope. Well, let me check one other place though. Let's see. Um, nope. Okay, y'all, I am done. <laughs> I am done and done. And this is what I have. And see, I'm going to still come back over here and mess with this daggone ribbon. Okay, y'all. So this is it. I got this from Hobby Lobby. My two picks, I believe, were from AC Moore. Um, the flower bundle was from Michael's, I believe, and this came from AC Moore as well. So everything I used either came from AC Moore, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. And I did get this last year, um, but I'm sure they're, they're probably going to have the same stuff out this year. Um, so... This is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will come back and um, and answer you. Um, otherwise, let me zoom in. And I'll give you guys a look. And this is what it looks like. So, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and... Um, I'm hoping I can get back on here uh, sometime this week. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, it all depends on my son's schedule. So, anyway, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, comment. I'm going to put the link to the Probo um, in the comments on this video. Um, and, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.